we currently have a Midwest flatbed position available. It's $14.50 per week. There are six requirements in order to get the $14.50 per week. They're pretty basic. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for listening. And let me just say, in my humble opinion, these quote unquote guarantee pays, in my humble opinion, I really think that it put more stress on the driver than anything. Like, in order to get this this particular pay right here that she's offering, which is $1,450 a week guaranteed, and maybe after taxes, depending on what your tax bracket is, I know mine is like around 300 ish. So that breaks it down to maybe like $1,100. I, I just think it's too much. I think it's just too much additional stress on the driver while he's out there trying to move these loads safely. Now he has additional worry to make sure that he gets the $1,450 every week let's break it down for what she said we currently have a midwest flatbed position available it's 1450 per week there are six requirements in order to get the 1450 per week they're pretty basic be available for dispatch at least five days out of the week no load refusals no driver service failures so no late loads no preventable accidents for the week no csa violations for the week and of course get your paperwork in on time those are the six requirements for the 1450 paid weekly on the Midwest flatbed division. Let's put it this way. Anything liable to happen out here on the road, you really don't know. And let's say you get into a traffic jam and it takes maybe two, three, four minutes off your time to get there on time. Now that you get there, now you're late now you're not going to get the $1,450 that's guaranteed because you were stuck in the traffic jam for five, 10 minutes. Okay. No problem. All right. I'm, I'm not going to get that. Let's say she said you got to be available throughout the week. Okay. So you don't get no lows throughout the day. You don't get no lows throughout the evening, but now you're in deep sleep and they call you at about say one o'clock in the morning. Hey, we got a load for you or we got a reload for you that you got to go and pick up. You tell them I'm, I'm tired and I can't drive. Okay, no problem. Now you refuse the load. Now you can't get your $1,450. Let's say you pull into a way station. They do a inspection on you or something like that. And maybe they, they pull you into the big room. They go up under your trailer. They take everything. And all of a sudden, some small minuscule violation that they found that you couldn't see during the pre-trip. Now they put that on your inspection report. Now you can't get the one thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. You see what I'm saying? You you see where you see where I'm going with all of this? It's just too much additional stress to try to worry about getting your quote unquote guarantee pay. Why don't you just scratch the guarantee pay all together and just offer us the $1,450 a week with no stipulations? How about that? How about that? Take the stress off the driver and give the driver the opportunity to do his job without worrying about his pay getting cut or, his, or he's not getting his guarantee at the end of the week. Let's do that. Can we? Can we companies? Can you just offer the driver that if he don't make as much miles as he would make throughout the week, could you just offer him the guarantee pay without no stipulations? Hey, we see that you only did 1,500 miles. We see that you only did 2,000 miles. So here's your guarantee pay of $1,450. There you go, sir. I think you will have a lot more happy drivers, like a lot more conscious drivers, a lot more safe drivers out here on the road because you took that unneeded stress up off of them so they can make sure that they get their pay at the end of the week. Those are my thoughts, drivers. Tell me yours in the comments below. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Don't you love me all night?